Shalom brothers and sisters. So just a, a quick input on the whole Russian situation that's going down. I have been looking and seeing on the various streams and things, everything that's going down. It would seem at this stage that the whole so-called attempted coup is now off and the leader, Prigozhin or whatever, is leaving for Belarus and his people won't be charged because they'll sort them out later and all these things. So Putin has a victory in the whole situation. But what I wanted to say, whether he did or didn't, you've got to realize again what I said previously, and that is the Bible tells you Russia's going to be around for a very long time and achieve many things. She still needs to come against Israel with her coalition. She still needs to do all those things. Now, whether that includes Putin or not, I don't know. I think it does. But it could be a change in leadership. That doesn't mean Russia's down and out. Russia's still powerful and Russia still has a role to play regardless of what's happening in the other world powers. NATO might have been involved in this whole thing. I would pretty much put my money on that, that they paid or encouraged Prevotskin or whatever his name is to go ahead with this. But um, yeah, maybe they just, you know, the, the impression I get, honestly, is that they keep pushing and pushing and pushing the enemies to launch their nuclear attack, to get this ball rolling. But for some reason that they can't understand, they can't get someone to actually start. Everything comes to the very edge. North Korea, China, Taiwan, uh, Russia, all of them, all the time. Iran. But it doesn't really reach the push the button moment. Why? Because the restrainer is still here. When he's removed... All bets are off. So again, Russia's going to be here for the long run, regardless of who's saying what and how destroyed and defeated she is and blah, blah, blah. I follow the Bible, and the Bible says she's still got very big tasks, and she's a very serious threat coming against Israel in due time. So focus on that. Pray for all those caught in the middle on all sides, always. Pray for the Russian civilians. Pray for the Ukrainian civilians. Pray for all the civilians caught up in all the madness by the leaders of the world at the moment working for darkness and probably having meetings with Antichrist while they distract us with submarines and cage fights of billionaires with too much time on their hands. God is coming so soon. The convergence is off the charts that they're now coming up with crazy things to keep the masses distracted while they try and force the beginning of the chaos that they need in a war and a deployment of all these other things. That's my 10 cents for the day. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.